If you need skeleton keys, do this now. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to farm skeleton keys very easy and very fast. I know if you try to go and get some GPUs from Ashika Island, you're probably going to die trying to get them out of the castle or finding them. Another thing you're going to be needing is some golden bars, but how do you get, get them out? Ashika Island, if you don't have a secure backpack unlocked yet because you haven't killed the scavenger 10 times. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the fastest and easiest way that you're going to be able to farm skeleton keys. So let's dive into this video. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so because we have a lot of videos coming your way. And not only that, but keeping you up to date in regards to DMC and helping you with any mission when we go live each single day at 6.30 Central Time. Now, how do we farm the skeleton keys and work. What we need to do is go into Vondale, check out the buy station. What we need here is we need to get three, three plates, three self revives and one gold bar. And that is going to make a skeleton key. Making a skeleton key hasn't become easier than what it is now. So what you guys need to do is the following. You're going to go into Vondale you're going to go to the aquarium. As you are seeing here, through the top of the aquarium, there's going to be a rope that you can go down and you're automatically are going to be entering the aquarium through the zoo. As you guys go in here, this location is amazing because it has so much loot. You're going to be able to come out with at least three, three plates, three self revives. But the main thing here is, where do you get this gold bar? To be able to get this gold bar, you're going to go into the windmill. There automatically, automatically there is a location there, which I'm showing you here. You can go in there and then you're going to be able to get a gold bar guaranteed. All you need is the windmill key and then you're going to be able to open this up. So what I would do is the following. I would first get the gold bar. The gold bar, like I said, you can get it from the windmill. You also can get it from the red crates that drop when the Sam Sipes hit them and maybe you get lucky and you get it from a player. That is the first thing I would do. Second thing is go into the aquarium and get those items, which are the three, three plates and the three self revives. That automatically is going to save you over a hundred, a hundred thousand in just currency of the game. If you're able to get that now, go to the bike station and then you're going to be able to do this. And this is how easily you're going to be able to do this. And just want to give credit to one of our members, Arisi, who was kind enough to show me this. We delved in there a couple of times. I mean, it does get really heavy because of the bots. But if you are able to do this, you could probably do this alone and very fast. Or you could do it with someone else. Go in there, get all these items and get out. And then you're going to have a skeleton key. And that is the way you're going to be able to farm this the easiest and fastest way. There is no other way in Ashika. Is going, you're going to die too many times before you even get anything done. In Almazra, you're going to be running around trying to find all the different items because now it changed. Now you're going to need gold bars and you need GPUs. So that's going to take you even longer. So doing the Vondel way is going to be the fastest and easiest way. So if you guys like how that sounded and if it helped you out, a like is much appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications to all because we're going to be bringing you guys more videos and we go live each single day helping you with any DMC mission.